Hey y'all, Urban here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made my intro. Um, I use a program called Final Cut Pro, um, which runs pretty expensive on um, the App Store, but I think it's worth it. It's a good application, and it's pretty easy to make some uh, awesome intros. Uh, this was a request from one of my viewers, I can't really remember his name. Sorry dude who recommended this to me, but if you watch this video, just say, I recommended it to you, so you become famous. Yes. Good. Um, Final Cut is not the fastest program to open, but um, once it does open, it works pretty darn well. Um, I'm not a huge fan of its rendering processes, so I usually render in iMovie and do all my transitions and effects in Final Cut Pro. Um, so basically, what we're waiting for it to, to do here is finish loading, really. Like I said, it, it does take quite a bit. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you can see here that I already have my um, intro. Just playing through. It's running quite smoothly as you can see. You can see it's 100% rendered, everything's good to go. So what you, want to guy, what you guys want to do is I'll go ahead and just copy the audio bit I did here. So when I'm going back to do it, I can easily um, do it again. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. We'll call it Demo. Okay, so we're going to open this up. And what you guys want to do is you want to go over to um, it, uh, the, the T symbol, and it has these bumper openers. And what these do is they're basically intros you can choose from. Uh, to do mine, what I'm going to go do is I'm going to take this one and I'm going to bring it over here. It's called Splash Ink Splats. It's going to ask you if you want to um, change the um, the rate of it. Um, I'll just do 29.97. Um, I like that. It works really well. Um, you can see it's, you know, without anything added onto it. Um, and it's currently rendering right now. So this does take some time. You have to kind of just leave it and let it sit for a while, but in the essence of time, I won't make it run smoothly. I'll just get it done so you guys can go ahead and, um, you know, I'll show you guys how to do it. So what you're going to want to do is then, once you have it selected so you can see the titles, you want to go in and you can obviously change it. And it'll automatically change the color so it blends in like that. And then you can go ahead, you can highlight it, you can change the size of the font, you can make it massively big, that's kind of where mine is. Um, I didn't have any subtitles on mine, I don't really need any. So um, as you can see, when it runs through here, it'll basically See, it is a little laggy because it's not rendered, but it automatically changes the color for you, as you can see here, white and then black. It blends like that. Okay, so what you guys want to do now is click anywhere here, and I'm going to go push Command V and paste in my little tune that I picked. This is from um, uh, Passion Pit. It's a song called Manners. It's a really nice song. I like it a lot. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, so you can just go sync it up to the front of the video. Um, what you have here is when you first uh, put any type of music in here, it's going to look like that. So before it's done, it just abruptly cuts off. But what you want to do is you can drag this little fader and you can drag it out. So as you listen to it, it will progressively dim the music and uh, lower the volume so it kind of flows smoothly into your video. So as you can see there, the audio of the song smoothly just transitions nicely, peacefully, straight into where you would put a commentary, a video, a tutorial, anything you want, kind of like that. And what I do is I simply save this, you know, um, I'd go here, I'd share, 
uh, export movie when it's done rendering down here. Export movie, export as a video file, import it to iMovie if you like rendering in iMovie, which I do because it does it initially. It does it at the beginning, so you have to technically wait, but once it's all done, it, it it's much more um, uh, progressive. It, it moves a lot faster than uh, this program does. Um, this is basically just kind of like a, an upgraded version of iMovie in a lot of people's opinions. Um, I read a lot of reviews where people don't really like this professionals because you know they feel like it's just kind of a like a souped up iMovie, but it works good for transitions and titles. So you can go ahead, export it to a video file, and um, then open it into a um, into another kind of program, and then post it as an intro. Um, and then the audio and video will be all synced into one video file. So if you want to change it, you're gonna to have to come into I, um, Final Cut Pro and alter it, and then you're going to have to um, basically shift it into a um, whatever you want. You're going to have to do it in uh, Final Cut and then you export it again into a different movie file to um, save it all over again. But as you can see, it works really well. It's a uh, wonderful program to use for intros. It comes with some cool ones. As you can see here, I'll just play a few for you guys. Low rotational wheel. You can edit how fast that spins. Another one of my uh, favorite ones that it has is um, this one. It just kind of like bleeds the water across like the wood. Uh, it's not really working there. Sha poopy, sha poopy. Because it's, it's rendering right now, so it's going to be... It does that. But... That is today's video, guys. Uh, sorry for the little lag out of the application there. Um, when I, When you're doing stuff, I recommend you don't uh, try to do graphic intensive things um, while you are um, uh, rendering because rendering takes freaking forever and it makes your computer run really slow. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's how you create an intro using Final Cut Pro. You can make other intros using um, programs like uh, Cinema 4D, Photoshop, um, Premiere Effects Pro, which is another Adobe product, and um, hit me up with uh, whatever questions you have about this. I'd be glad to answer your questions. Don't forget, please subscribe. I love when I get new subscribers, and it's the one thing I really want to start building up. More subscribers. Help me get to 100. When I get to 100, I will make sure I make an awesome video for you guys. Let's say, like, too many items or some awesome Call of Duty montage. Blah, whatever. So, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. Uh, peace out.